this video, we're going to take a look at graphing functions using the Casio FX115 ES. Make sure your calculator is in computation mode and that is done by selecting mode 1. Alright, so let's see how we would graph the function negative 2x squared plus 8x plus 1 which is a quadratic function so we know that it is a parabola. So although the Casio is not a graphing calculator it will allow us to fill in a t-table and we can then go plot the points and then draw the graph. So that's what we're going to do here. Alright, so let's make sure our calculators are on by hitting the on button and then we're going to select mode 7. That's the table mode. And what you'll see in the window is f of x equals. So we are ready to enter in our function. Okay, so we're going to enter negative 2. Now to access the variable x on the Casio, we're going to hit alpha and then the right parentheses key. Okay, so that puts in our x and we want it raised to the second power so we'll hit our x squared key located here and then we'll type in our plus 8 and we want another x again so we'll hit alpha right parentheses plus 1. Alright, let's hit equals. The calculator is asking or it states start. That's asking you what x value would you like to start your t-table with. So I've decided that my t-table will go from x equals negative 1 to x equals positive 5. So that means we're looking at the parabola right here in this region from negative 1 to positive 5 and I'm interested in plotting points along this area. Okay, so we'll tell it negative 1 and then hit equals and then it's going to ask well where do you want the t-table to end and we want our t-table to end at 5 and 5 just happens to already be on the screen if not you just type in your number and hit equals and then the next step is step. <laughs> the default number is 1 and that's usually the number we keep it on it's simply asking in what increments would you like these numbers to fall and we want them all to be one unit apart so we keep it at one so let's hit equals and there is our t table uh, the first column is the x column the second column is the y column or the f of x column and we see that when x is negative one y is negative nine when x is zero y is 1 when x is 1, y is 7 and we just keep scrolling down we get 2, 9 which happens to be the vertex 3, 7 4, 1 and 5 negative 9 so our calculator has done quite a bit of work for us all right, so the calculator or the Casio has done its part. To get back to the original screen, you simply hit mode 1. It takes you back to the original screen. All right, let's plot our points. Starting at the origin, if we go to negative 1 and then drop down negative 9, that will put us about right there back at the origin, plot 0, 1, that's here, let's plot 1, 7, 2, 9, 3, 7, 4, 1, and 5, negative 9, and we know a parabola has symmetry, so this all makes sense. And now let's just connect these points with a smooth curve. All 
All right, there's our parabola. I did make a little note here at the bottom um, that if your function um, is an absolute value function, for example, if you had f of x equals and then the absolute value of some algebraic expression, to enter in the absolute value bars, you would type shift hype.